Uganda Airlines has resumed its regular flights to South Sudan's capital, Juba, after nearly seven months of COVID-19 partial lockdown in a country and across the region and the world. In his statement to SSBC at Juba International Airport, the chief executive officer of Juba Airport, Captain Subek John David, said the government of South Sudan appreciates the steps taken by Uganda's national carrier to resume its flights to Juba. He added that the airport authority and South Sudan Aviation through the Ministry of Transport would support all other airlines willing to resume regular flights to South Sudan to improve the country's economy. First and foremost, I'm very happy to receive Uganda Airlines to be back to Juba for its operation. And let me recognize the presence of the Deputy Ambassador of Uganda to South Sudan, our economic uh, director for Air Uganda. I'm happy to see all of you back to South Sudan. Indeed, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic have done us a great havoc, both in human lives and economically. I'm really very happy to, to see Uganda Airline uh, come back, resume its operation after uh, seven months of uh, COVID-19 when it broke out in March in South Sudan here. So that is the time the Air Uganda got its top. Uh, but now at least there is a point of uh, uh, things going to normal. Uh, so, but we like Air Uganda, you don't have any problems. You will operate like before. There is an system that we can be rendered to, the, uh, to you. We are available for you. Meanwhile, the financial director for Uganda Airlines, Paul Turasisienga, assured his company's commitment to abide by all preventive measures issued by health authorities in an effort to stem the spread of COVID-19 and provide safe flights to all passengers. Similar sentiments were also echoed by Uganda's deputy ambassador to South Sudan, Agama Woling, who registered his country's willingness to strengthen cooperation and trade between the two countries. We are very excited to relaunch our operations here. As you are well aware, we started this route uh, about one year ago and we operated it for six months. It was one of our successful and very, very uh, important routes for us, for the two countries. But unfortunately, due to the COVID pandemic, uh, Entebbe Airport was closed from commercial operations and flights had to be closed. We are very excited and happy that after the opening of the commercial operations in Entebbe Airport yesterday, on the second day, we are relaunching back the Juba route. It's a very historic day again to, as he has already mentioned, to reconnect our people. The, the Uganda airline is our airline. And, uh, you know, um, the connection between South Sudan and Uganda is uh, historical. It's cemented by blood. And therefore, the arrival of this airline today makes me very, very excited that uh, once more a people that were separated have again come back to, get, uh, to work as one person. The resumptions of many airlines after lifting of lockdowns by many countries is a great boost to economies of the region and of the world, and a relief from month of pandemic detention that forced many nations to close their borders. Reporting for SSBC, Tech Steven.